mosaic mesh. Why do you use it? What is it used for? And how do you use it? In this upcoming tutorial, I'm going to answer all those questions and a little bit more. Stay tuned. people use for their mosaics is a fiberglass mesh. It's actually quite thick, it's very robust, so if you've got a lot of heavy tiles on this, this is absolutely perfect to use. It will hold your mosaics in shape. It's a little bit costly, but it is worth it for large projects and large installations. I also use it a lot when I'm doing pattern pavers, so it means I'm not actually carrying a concrete paper around. I can actually work on my mesh, glue the pieces to my mesh, and then I can glue it to my concrete paper at a later date. So I'm not pulling, no, lifting up a big heavy concrete paper. So it's actually a really good time saver. However, this mosaic mesh has large holes for the small pieces that I use. I do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be using tulle and that's the tulle that you find in veils or ballet. Now I don't use the veil tulle because that's usually a very fine and uh, it's usually silk or it's a, a cotton fabric. I use the cheap nylon tulle which means that it's going to last and the glue won't disintegrate. So I pay roughly around about $1.52 a meter and it's a really wide piece so a little goes a long long way. This is the board that I use my mesh on. So I prepare my board. You can see I've got flowers stuck to it. So you can use any size board. This can get stacked away and then I can put more flowers onto it later. So it's a really handy way of working on your mosaics in little pieces. This is the way I like to set up my board. I don't really need a big board for what I'm doing because I'm going to make small flowers. If you're doing a paper, you might want a board this size. You need a board larger than the area that you're going to glue. Now we can cover it with a piece of paper. The reason you may want a piece of paper is you might want to draw your designs on it. So I'm just going to draw a couple of designs so I know what I am doing and it'll give you an idea of how you go about doing this. So I'm just going to do a couple of flowers. Oops. So I'm just going to put two on for the moment. I've got my scissors. I'm going to cut it smaller than what I need. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually put a photo under this. I'm going to glue this down. If you don't glue it down, it's going to move and it'll be really annoying. So I've got some tape here and I'm just going to pop some tape on that I pre-cut. I like pre-cutting my tape because there is nothing worse than when you get started, it goes everywhere. All right, so I've got that now stuck onto my board. I've got my simple flower designs. I could draw more flowers, or as I said, I could have a photo underneath. Now, if I put the mesh onto this, the paper's going to stick to the mesh. I don't want the paper to stick to the mesh. So I'm going to put a cover over this. It's going to be clear plastic. Now, the clear plastic that I'm using, you can buy clear plastic from the hardware shops, but I'm using a clear plastic bag someone gave me. So I've got a really big sheet of plastic. It doesn't matter how big it is, but that can just now go over that piece. So I'm going to flip it over. now done. I can pull these sides back if I want to keep it really neat but I don't need to. That's not an issue. The next thing I'm going to do is lay my tulle over it. Now the other reason that I like the ballerina tulle is that you can see behind it really easily. So you can see my face behind that. And when I put it over my design, you can even see it that far away. The design is really, really clear. When I use this tool, it gets a little bit more difficult to see the finer detail. So um, that's why I like using the ballet tool for this particular project. Now, 
I have a scrap piece of tulle that I've got here. Do I want to glue the whole thing down? Yes, maybe not. So instead of cutting it, I'm going to just flip it over and glue some of, take some of the areas down. Now, tulle is really, really difficult to paste down. It tends not to stick, so um, the sticky tape doesn't work as well as, say, your masking tape or your um, electrical tape. So the electrical tape will actually stick better. And that's now stuck. It's not beautiful, but it will do the job. I've got this little bit sitting up, but that's not really going to matter because when I start gluing my tiles down, what you're going to see is that the glue is going to stick that tool to the plastic. Now that I've got everything taped, I can get started. I can do my cutting and my gluing. There's a little video and it doesn't have these designs, but it has the other designs that I'm going to do. So you can just watch how I do that. started. You just lay down your drawing, your design or your piece of paper. You then put plastic over your paper because you don't want the glue to stick to the plastic. So you, <laughs> you don't want the glue to stick to your paper. So put the plastic on top. Once you've got the plastic, then you put your mesh on top. And I'm using tulle, but you could use the mosaic mesh if you're doing bigger projects. When you're working with mesh, you don't have to cut these off straight away. You can actually leave them on there. So it means I can come back and make more flowers and fill up that whole board so there is no wastage. Once it's dry, I can then cut off and you can have a look at the tutorial that I can show you on once the glue is dry, cutting it. reasons to work on mesh. One of them is they're easy to stack. Under here, I've actually got three sheets of mosaics. So it means that I can stack my pieces as I'm going. So if you're limited for space, this is a great way to work. So this is a mosaic. It's done on mesh. The back has been glued with dots so you can see that there is a concrete adhesive it's not stuck all over which means that I've just put dots on to secure it when I'm actually laying it down it will then be embedded into the cementous adhesive or whatever adhesive I'm going to be using so you don't need a lot of glue you just need some dots to secure it and that's a really easy way of using your mesh it means that they can stack really really easily and you can then put them onto whatever you like at a later date the other thing you can do is then you can place them onto a curve so it means that I can curve this around onto a totem pole or a rounded surface area it's a really really practical way of working with large projects with limited space and if you don't want to work outside in the elements you can actually work on your mesh inside and then when it's a nice day you can go outside and put it up for when I'm doing my smaller pieces what I love is that I can have them stacked and racked on these mesh boards so I can just leave them there. It also means that as I'm working, if I've only got time to put two flowers on, I can then just put it away onto my shelf and leave it there. 
can then come back at a later date and keep adding more and more flowers on. When it's dry, I can then cut them off and put them into my trays or into boxes. So these are all my mesh flowers. There you go, they've got the mesh on the back that was cut off and they're ready to go. I can then put them onto any surface that I like. It does depend upon the glue, so make sure that the glue that you're using will not dissolve if it's going outside. These are only inside, so the glue that I've used, it really doesn't matter because they're not going to be immersed in water. So mesh is fantastic for stacking your work for when you've got limited space to work in. And if you're doing a really big project, you can do little sections at a time and then ad adhere them to your substrate or to your wall or wherever you're going to be doing at a later date. So why use mesh? so many good reasons. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that like button. And remember to subscribe and ring that bell. If you have any questions, please send a message at the bottom and I will be happy to chat to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cheryl Hanwoodlock from Handmade Studio saying bye for now. To set up your board, I've got...